Joining us now um, from Washington, D.C., to provide insights and uh, perspectives on the China Africa Forum is Calvin Dark, an analyst on African foreign affairs. Calvin, uh, thank you for joining us. First off, uh, China, as we are discussing uh, presently, has opened uh, a 15 day China Africa Defense uh, Forum. Uh, defense, uh, forum. And uh, why is the focus on Africa, Calvin? Well, I think China is being extremely strategic because they realize that as they try to become a bigger economic power, one way to have leverage around the world is to tie that economic power and influence to peace, security, and defense. And there are many needs across Africa for peacekeeping operations and resolving conflicts. So they're being smart to tie their economics with their security partnerships. And they're also taking advantage of the fact that France, other European countries, and especially the United States, aren't focusing as much as they were and as I think they should in Africa. Carvin, China is a major player in arms sales in Africa and uh, coupled with the increasing terrorist activities in, all the, in, in some parts of the continent. Uh, should African countries be worried over this development? They may not need to be, but they do need to be cautious because all of this increased cooperation and partnership does have potential downsides. What African countries need to remember is that China is a major player and factor in many of the world's most complex challenges, including those with the United States, like North Korea. And what African countries have to keep in mind is that while the partnerships they have with China, economic security, tourism, whatever it may be, are good with them, it may cause a situation where there comes a day that it puts them at odds with their traditional go-to allies like France, other European countries, and the United States. So I don't think it's a red flag or um, a deal breaker, but I do think it's something that they have to keep in mind. You say that you don't think it's a, it's a red flag, but what exactly will this growing influence of China and Africa ultimately result to in the nearest future? What do you see it resulting to, Carvin? Well, I think there are some positive benefits that I do think that economically this will benefit Africa if they make sure that they don't allow China just to exploit natural resources without building the infrastructure and, and training the local um, workers to do the jobs. I think it can be negative in the area of democracy and human rights because, you know, the United States and Europe emphasize human rights and democracy and transparency with their partnerships. China is hardly an example of democracy and human rights promotion. So these partnerships could embolden potential human rights violators in Africa who might depend on China turning more of a blind eye than their other allies like the U.S. and Europe.